Hi, my name is Michael Rabofsky and I'm a practicing family practitioner. Pediatrics immunizations are designed to stimulate the immune system in our infants and children to protect them against various viral and bacterial illnesses. These vaccines protect our children from contracting various infectious diseases, some of which may be self-limited but leave our children with handicaps. Self-limited diseases will get better on their own, for example, rubella or German measles, but may leave our children with hearing deficits. Chickenpox or varicella will get better on its own, but our children do suffer during the time that they are dealing with the illness. We start giving pediatric vaccines in the newborn nursery, where within the first 24 to 48 hours of life, the hepatitis B vaccine is administered. In addition, it is advisable for our children from six months of age and older to receive a yearly flu vaccine or influenza vaccine. There are potential side effects from all of these vaccines, but the potential benefit in protecting against illness far outweighs the potential risks. In the past few years, there has been a lot of discussion about whether vaccines can lead to autism. All of the studies have proven that there is no link between pediatric immunizations and autism. In my 20 years of practice, I have already seen decline in ear infections, pneumonias, and meningitis since we started giving both the Hib vaccine and the Prevnar vaccine, which protect against bacterial infections that cause these common illnesses.